I'm on Google here and I'm just going to type in Inkscape, which is an absolutely free software. It's quality vector graphic software. But if you've never installed a program, it can be a little bit intimidating. So in this video, I'm going to walk through exactly how to download and install Inkscape for your computer. All right, very easy to do here. We're going to click on inkscape.org. That's where we're going to go. And then there's an about, a download, news, and community. You want to go to the download one and you can go to current version. Download current version. I'm going to scroll on down and we can see Inkscape 1.1. That's the latest release. And then there's older versions over here on the right hand side that you could try as well. However, if you want to actually download, then you can use Windows right here, this button, or if you've got a Mac, you can download right here. I'm going to click this button because I'm using Windows. So Windows, Microsoft, Windows Desktop. It's going to ask me if I'd like 64-bit or 32-bit. Basically, you want 64-bit if you've got a relatively new computer, and then 32-bit if you've got a relatively old, uh, old computer. So I'm going to click on the 64-bit here. It's going to ask me for an installer, installer package, or a compressed drive. I'm just going to download this .exe file. That's the easiest. An .exe file is just an executable file. So I'm going to click on that. Now it's going to say download started, but nothing's happened yet. Now this little window opens up after a couple seconds. I'll click save file, and now I'm going to put it in whatever folder I want to put it in. So I've just got a zip folder here. So I'm just going to put my Inkscape 1.1 in there, click Save, and it's going to take just a couple seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, and of course, depending on your browser, it may look a bit different, but I'm using Mozilla. There's a little Downloads Progress button over on the right-hand side. I'm just going to click that, and I can see here, click on the little folder, and that will open up where my downloads are sitting. So here's all of my downloads that I've had over the last few days. I'm just going to now double-click on the Inkscape file, and that's an .exe file. Now it's going to ask me, do you want to allow this app to make changes? And I'll say yes. And then I'm going to get to a setup screen. It will set me up with Inkscape, and I just click Next. There's a license agreement. I'll click I agree. And then it'll say, by default, Inkscape does not add its directory to the system path. Add Inkscape for all users. Add for the current user. Do not add Inkscape. I'm just going to say do not add Inkscape and create the icon. That icon now will go on my desktop. I'll click Next. It'll ask me where to install. It'll also say the space available and the space required. It takes about half a gigabyte of memory on your PC. I've got more than enough space. I'll click Next. And then it will say choose a start menu folder. I'm just going to let it be the default, which will just give its, its own menu start folder. I'll click Next. And then it will say which features would you like? And there's a whole bunch of features here. I've got them all turned on. If you are really tight for space, you can monkey around with a couple of the uh, check mar marks and it will actually lower the amount of space required. I'm just going to click install. So from here, it just installs it, takes a couple minutes, and when it's all done, it'll let me know. Okay, and now it says completing Inkscape setup. It's been installed on my computer, and then I'll click finish. Now, if you don't want to run it, just unclick that. But if you want to run it, then you'll just leave this on. I'm just going to turn this off. I'll click finish. I'll close out my little window there. And now I'm just going to look on my computer for an icon that looks like this. So it's a little Inkscape icon. I'll just double click it. And then Inkscape will open up on my computer. Okay, and it'll say welcome. Let's set up a few things. Now there's a quick setup. The canvas by default, you can do dark, light, solid white. I like solid white. Keyboard, Inkscape default, but there's a whole bunch of other ones. And then the appearance is classic, and you can have a bunch of other ones. I'm just going to stick it all to the defaults here. I'm pretty boring. There's also a dark setting if you wanted. See how it changes, how it looks? I like the light. I'm old school. And then I'm just going to click Save. And then it will just say, draw freely. Here's how you can fund it. I'll say thanks. 
And then when I'm ready to go, I can just click this new document. I'm going to get rid of this so this doesn't come up. I'm just going to click new document and it will open up Inkscape. Now I'm in Inkscape. So the next time you start it up, I'll just close this out. The next time you start this up, it should just load up normally. There it is. And there's Inkscape. You can always tell what version you're using if you go into help and then about Inkscape as well. That will give you the version 1.1, that sort of thing. Hope you found that helpful. Very easy and fun to use Inkscape. It's completely free. I highly recommend that you check it out. It's great for both a Windows computer and a Mac computer. Thanks everybody. Take care.